Today we are going downtown to Rochester. We're actually going to a little ski shop. I have a ski trip coming up in like two weeks and I want to get new ski boots. So I don't know if I plan to exactly get ski boots like here today, but for the outfit, I'm wearing this long sleeve like ribbed shirt and I think this is from H&M. These are my favorite jeans lately. They're from White Fox. I love them because they are so comfortable. Wearing my Adidas campuses, honestly, a black purse isn't really the move with this outfit, but I don't feel like putting all my stuff into another purse. So also I love this coat. Like it's gorgeous. This is my mom's, but I just keep stealing it from her. I have a little hair clip, so very cute. My boyfriend is here. So let's go. Allure. Hello. Be right there. I got my last piece of gear and I gotta wait for my coat to be delivered. It is freezing cold. Shh. Sorry, I'm just Babe, your car is being too loud. I'm trying to film. I was just inside. <laughs> I was just inside that ski shop for how long were we in there like an hour yeah. or an hour and a half I didn't even buy anything which he did buy ski poles at least but the mm -hmm. boots that I liked were $500 and then the skis that I liked were $500 and I was like am I about to drop a thousand dollars right now I need to think it over so I'm thinking lots of us are buying them online <laughs> I want to support small businesses but when they're double the price when they're double yeah. the price in the store I just like couldn't do it, but the guy was so nice. My ski boots that I have right now are like the worst ski boots ever and he fit me into some new ski boots and they're so much more comfortable and like I, we got little inserts for them. Well, I didn't buy them, but I'm going to. <laughs> We're gonna go back and get the inserts though because you do. They were so much better with inserts. I mean, I could probably order the inserts. Then we came out and we just stumbled into this little cute cafe and I got an oat milk hot chocolate and he got a gingerbread chai latte. And how is it? It's good. It's actually very cut. <laughs> Let's start again. And how is it? And how is it? It's, good. it's pretty good. <laughs> you haven't tried this yet. Try it. And we also <laughs> this little punching bag. <laughs> punching bag. Boxing glove. <laughs> this tastes like a candle. Mm -hmm. It's good, but yeah, it's very like it candle. Tastes like a candle, but it's good. <laughs> and we got a muffin and a banana bread. And now, oh, that kind of has a weird taste. Yeah, we're gonna go good. home and watch the show Yellow Jackets because we just started it and we're so into it. We're at like the Rochester lights and they just turned on because it's starting to get dark. Let's but it's, buy these. it's so cold out that like we don't even want to walk around and explore the lights and take cute pictures because it's just too cold. So that's really unfortunate, but this has still been a fun experience. <laughs> Today we are decorating the tree for Christmas. We're actually putting up the tree because we haven't done it yet, which is kind of weird. I wanted to do it earlier this year, but I also wanted to film it. So every time like my family and I were at home and we had a free night and we were like, let's put up the tree tonight all together. I was like, I don't feel like it right now. It just didn't work out. So it's kind of unfortunate because I wanted to put it up like two weeks ago, but today's December 1st. It's still a decent time to get the tree up. I just put on my little cozy knit sweater, put on a Christmas movie, finished decorating the house putting up all the rest of the decor the rest of the lights we need to do all that today so let's go downstairs i'll show you what we're working with ignore those boxes because they look kind of ugly here is where we're putting the tree we pretty much put it here every year i think my brother already put together the base we also have some pretty garlands so these can go like on the kitchen table or i honestly want to put one on the banister or see if we can make that work something like that definitely need to put up the stockings we just have these like basic red ones they're kind of not that cute but they're fine <laughs> Change the input! <laughs> I don't even know which one it is now and I'll never know. Help! Oh, that's it. <laughs> Those are those <laughs> Christmas vacation? Oh, sorry. Never mind, that's really silly. Elf! Do you want something elf. nice or do you want something silly? There! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Every single year. Alright! Ready? Yeah.
actually the next day now but all the lights are done as you can tell it looks so pretty and i'm gonna start putting the ornaments on right now my family is still sleeping so they'll probably help me in a little bit but i just want to get started because we have a lot of ornaments and this is the part that always takes the longest we have so many honestly but ours are mostly a mix of like pink rose gold silver white gold sparkly like winter wonderland-esque i think i'm also gonna put a little christmas movie on while i do this i already watched elf i just watched family stone the family stone or something i watched a bunch of the like new kind of original ones on netflix so what should i watch right now I don't think I like this one. <laughs> this animation style is a little bit creepy. I know it's like old. It's all fall, isn't it? <laughs> okay, okay, I can't do this. This is weird. Okay, we're gonna watch How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Wait, what? I have to pay? Ugh. Get out of here. How about a Charlie Brown Christmas? I don't think I have Apple TV. I can't stand this. I was thinking about this last night. Remember how like if you wanted to watch a movie back in the olden days, it would be like, oh, it's either free or you pay like $2.99 to rent it. Now it's like you have to have 3 billion different subscription services. And if you don't have them, you just can't watch it unless you pay like $15 a month for that subscription service. But like I already have 10 other subscription services. I don't really want this other random one, you know? Okay, I'm just gonna watch this movie called Sideline. The quarterback in me looks really cringe, but let's just see after the ads. Anna thought you'd scroll. The tree's almost done being decorated, but I want to add a few more ornaments and like put the star on top and stuff. But tonight we're going over to my dad's house, my brother and I and my boyfriend. He's having like, a little party, which honestly is going to be super cute. I think we're like making our own little pizzas, putting on our own toppings and stuff. And I think we're doing like cookie decorating and then we have a little ornament exchange. So it's just like a pre-Christmas fun party. I'm getting ready right now. I'm still picking out my outfit, so I'm not sure if we're going to keep this, but I do want to do my makeup. I'm actually going to try to film a podcast real quick before I go because I have like about an hour. What better thing to do than film a podcast? Is it gonna be too like doughy? It'll just take longer to cook. This might not have enough of like a divot. It doesn't really have any divot. Maybe we should have watched like it's a tutorial or something. <laughs> I was gonna say you might want to stretch out the heart one a little bit more. But no, no, it's okay. It's too late, it's too late. It's okay. You wanna do cheese? Oh, I forgot! <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> You're a hot mess. They're not hot mess, they look good. That's good. There you go, it's all Thank unchunky. You. And you can 
pick the temperature between like 130 and 170. Power <laughs> do, button. First. Do you know which temperature you'd want your hot cocoa? 130. Oh, the least warm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was like powder. What did you think it was? Hot, do you want it? I think a little bit warmer. 150? 40. It's spinning now. Bros, we got good news and bad news. <laughs> but I don't need it. Do you want a cookie? No, I drank my hot. I've had like six of these already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll try this one. Okay, you want me to try it? Here, you record. Oh, that's not. Don't wait for me. Okay. <laughs> going to the Nutcracker. I am so excited. I somehow have never gone to see the Nutcracker Ballet. I have two dresses picked out and I'm trying to determine which one I'm gonna go with. I'll probably ask my mom when she gets home, but I got the cute little pink robe on. One of the dress options is pink and the other one is black. For the makeup today, I'm gonna do my little like cotton candy, sugar plum fairy, winter princess makeup. <laughs> We're gonna speed through the makeup and I'm gonna make a TikTok of it and I'll see you when I'm ready. Makeup is done. This is like one of my favorite makeup looks to do. It's like a glowy pink frosted, kind of heavy on the blush. Cute. So for the dresses, I have one option that's more subtle. It's like a little more subdued. Very basic. Just a black turtleneck dress. And this one is a little bit more out there. Not really though. It's like light pink and it kind of flares out in the skirt. This part is like fitted and then it's kind of like a fit and flare. I think this is what I'm settling on. A little pink dress from Cider. Some sheer tights and white fox boots. All right. 